All right, guys. So Drake uh, opened up about um, this past summer's beef with Kanye West, telling LeBron James and his partner Maverick Carter on the new HBO show The Shop that it, uh, he thought it was a friendly meetup with Kanye in Wyoming. But then things got weird. I'm in a great place, I'm making money, and I'm a father, and I want to, you know, be Quincy Jones and help you. But in order to do that, um, you've got to be uh, transparent with me, and you've got to play me your music, and you've got to oh, tell me you're dropping, and I know you don't like to do things like that. So I played him my music. He played me Lift Yourself, and he was like, yo, you can have this if you want. And I was hype, I started writing to it, and then he was like, yo, you got to come to Wyoming. He just told me he wanted to give me beats, and he's not, he said he wasn't dropping until, like, October, November, or something like that. So I went, ended up pretty much spending the majority of my time working on his music, like, just trying to, like, cook up <laughs> ideas for him, you know? Writing raps um, for him. Yeah, I mean, by the way, I'm in Wyoming. I play him March 14th. I send him a picture of my son. Uh. I tell him I'm having trouble with my son's mother. We had a conversation. I shared my... Mm. I wake up. And all these dates are out one by one by one all around June 15th. Hmm. I mean, and that's actually what we heard. Those were the rumors that everyone speculated the way he told that story right there. Because uh, that's what people were talking about in the industry and on blogs with regard to how that situation played out. Here's a clip where he's talking about uh, the story yeah. of Adidon. You know, people love to say, like, rap purists and people who just love confrontation. They love to say, hey, man, there's no rules in this shit, but there are rules in it of course and i'm gonna i knew something was gonna come up about my kid they had to add like the deadbeat thing to make it more appealing which is fine i, I understand that and I, even that i was like okay the mom and dad thing whatever you don't even know my family yeah. is like some but i'm gonna tell you wishing death on my friend that has ms i study rap battles for a living now, when you mention defenseless people who are sick in the hospital that passed away, that really sent me to a place where, you know, I just believed then and believe now that there's just a price that you have to pay for that. It's just, it's over. You're going to get, someone's going to f- punch you in the f- face. The, the, the sh- is done. The event's over. I wanted to do other things. I didn't want to, I didn't want to further your reputation or your career by rapping back at you. That's what he said. Yeah. I want to fight now. 